Where were you when you heard about the murder of uh, Sophie Lancaster and what went through your mind? On a plane. Um, I read about it on my way to Infest. Um, I picked up an English newspaper when we were leaving Germany and that's why I said something about it at the gig. I think it's been misreported, although my intent was very honest and, and still is. Um, I dedicated the song to her knowing that the English goth community is very interwoven. Um, it has become a cult in the UK for hoodies and chavs and various kind of like delinquent groups to um, people who wear black or people who wear strange clothing will always be looked at in a weird way. But England was a place when I was living there for 12 years where they had Susie and the Banshees and the punk movement and they'd had all the, the new romantic period and they'd had everything. They'd seen it and they wouldn't bat an eyelid at it. And then you had a rise of a very kind of dumbed down culture. Like to be more, to be as dumbed down makes you more popular. And um, I suppose to sort of sit in front of television eating chips generation. And these people decided to pick on two goths in a park. And I know this from playing concerts all over the world. I meet the security guys and go, you've got an easy job tonight. Because you're not going to encounter any violence. You're not going to encounter any moshing, at least on my gig, because I'm not going to let it happen. And um, if anybody calls any trouble, I'll probably be the first person in the audience dragging that, frog marching that person out. Um, I will not let anybody do that. So when I hear about whether you know, obviously, looking at us, we're you know we're, we're the word goth is a very sort of more used in North America as an umbrella term for people of a certain ilk, people of a certain style and and, and, and their likings. In Europe, it's it's a lot more separated out. Like I would be described as an electro or an industrial type kid. Um, I would dislike the term rivet head. I think it's a, a, a pointless, boring term. I felt very sad reading this article, and I ended up writing with her brother. And I felt really moved by the fact that anybody who would be different, no matter who they'd be, be victimized to the point that they'd be murdered for it. Um, Illusion was a song that was very appropriate, I felt, because I knew that there would be people at the concert who knew who she was, um, and that they probably had already heard about it and would be talking about it. And I wanted to show that we do have an affinity with it in that it, it, it disgusted us. It, I, actually, there were two other people playing with us on stage who were asking me afterwards, who, who was that you dedicated it to? Like, um, They hadn't heard about it. I just read the article and I felt that this was something that had to be said because I'm sure there were people there who th it would be playing on their minds. Infest is a great festival in the UK goth community and the industrial community. They're very, very tightly knit and they're all good-natured, humorous people who sit around with their little meetups and they have a, a you know, a couple of pints and they, they joke and they laugh and they have a great time together. Very learned, very self-educated and um, very bohemian rather than Victorian. Um, and then I ended up in these emails with her brother and, and I, I just said it was just our way of, we're part of that community and um, we wanted to acknowledge it and, and, you know, let it be known that we actually do care about it. And this is, there's, I know there's this organization that has formed and they use illusion as the as the the, the, the I suppose the, the, the theme for it. Um, it's a song about what it's like to be a teenager and not and feel that this world is out to get you and feel that this world is, is, is something to and it's it's uh, how should I put it? It's the fork roads, uh, the crossroads, the fork in the road of either going into a world of self abuse and hatred, self-hatred because of your experience and because of how you feel about yourself and how you feel the world feels about you or actually turning that around to your advantage which is what I would prefer people to do. My sister when she heard the song played it to her three kids and said kids this is everything you need to know just listen to the song that's it and not about trying to wake them up and make them all realistic and think that the world's cold hard dark place because I do believe in magic and I do believe that there's a lot more to this world than, than most people will ever want to see. Um, that's just how I am. Um, so it's really the, the Sophie Lancaster thing touches on, I suppose, what we feel about everybody. I don't feel any ill will. I don't want any ill will to anybody. Um, I'm not going to say something so inane as, why can't we just get along? Because I think that's a, a very childish uh, way of looking at things. Um, it's the nature of the world, but I feel really sad that this has become a culture in the UK and I really do not I really hope this does not spread because they had this other thing called whitewashing. I don't know if you know about this. Um, some guy started on a website in the UK where basically it was inviting people to come along to a goth club 
and throw white paint. It started out with flour and eggs, and they called it whitewashing. And it was like, huh, let's go do this. The site was getting ridiculous numbers of people. And suddenly they were all organizing groups all over the UK and they were showing up outside goth clubs, what would be called goth clubs to them in the UK and throwing white paint over people. And it got really, really over the top at times. And obviously, as you know, the goth community isn't going to start a fight, isn't going to retaliate or, you know, pull out a pull out a weapon and start firing shots in the air. It's not going to happen. So um, it's, it's part of a culture of like, you know, the kind of, ha, 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 those kids are different. But it's done by absolute brain-dead idiots, such as the world.